the good, omnipotent. And so it is. Our songs this morning will be led by the uh, award-winning Ron Soul and the equally famous Jeff Hodd. And so talented. If I could only find a songbook. If this gets too smooth for you, just let us know, okay? Um, would you please stand and we'll start with Surely the Presence, which is right inside your front cover. Surely the presence of our God is in this place. Thank you. 
Good morning. Welcome to Unity of Kanawha Valley, those of you in the sanctuary and also the Zoom people. We're so glad you're here. My name's... Hmm? Go ahead. We have someone returning, Kim Williams, oh, who great. remembers us from when we were in Blaine Boulevard. Wow. And, and uh, so welcome, Kim. Uh, traveled to Alaska, traveled all over the country, and it's great to have you back. Nice to see you probably wouldn't recognize you with your mask on, but I might remember you without it. <laughs> it's weird nowadays, isn't it? My name's Peggy, also known as Ziggy's mom, for those of you who have been following my Facebook. Got a new puppy. Um, and our announcements this week, we do have a book sale going on downstairs. Our beloved Ruth Davis passed away a few weeks ago. And she had a tremendous collection of New Thought books. And um, we are selling her books to benefit the church as she would want. And if you're inclined to need a few new books, check them out downstairs. They're on a love offering basis. Um, the Davis Children's Shelter is collecting luggage and backpacks for the kids as they transition to their new homes. If you would like to donate um, some luggage or backpacks that you have sitting around that you no longer need or you run across, please just let Pam know and she'll make sure those get to the shelter. Also, we are collecting coffee and school supplies for the Sojourner Shelter. Um, you can drop those in the barrel at the bottom of the steps in the activity room. Um, let's see what else. Uh, volunteers are needed for ushers, daily word readers, Sunday school teachers, wherever you'd like to serve. We've got an opening for you. How's that? And our annual meeting will be Sunday, October 10th, right after our Sunday service. Um, if you're interested in serving or running for a position on the board, let me or Janet know. Janet's not here today. And there's also Membership renewal forms in your seats. Um, you have to submit. This is one of our few rules we have here at Unity, but it's a pretty good one. You have to just fill that out and turn it into Pam so we will know that you want to continue your membership and you will be automatically continued. Barbie. I'm sure that they could email Pam. The information she's emailed the um, the sheets out so or the can form you, could you repeat the question so the people on zoom could hear she, they she Barbie asked if there was a way that the people on zoom could um, renew their application and Pam has stated that the form has actually been filled out in a P or sent out in a PDF to the email group so if you need that form just email Pam at ukvwb one at gmail.com and she will get it right to you. How's that? And that's all I have. So thank you very much. Thank you, Peggy. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Shalom, namaste, aloha, the light in me greets. Yikes. The light in me <laughs> greets the light in you. My name is Sky Kirshner. I want to welcome you to Unity of Kanawha Valley. Thank you for being with us from wherever you are. There will be a discussion group as usual immediately after the service uh, in the Sunday School room. Unity Kids Camp continues on Thursdays at 5.30. We meet for 45 minutes. Last week we took a little walk on the carriage trail. This week, pizza. Tegan likes pepperoni pizza. Reed likes pizza with black olives. Ron, tell us about your award. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, the um, uh, last during COVID, I, when John Lewis died, um, my friend John Wickstrom and I wrote this song called "Lay, Lay That uh, Burden Down," and. Um, uh, Bobby Lee Messer and 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 uh, Doug and Brogno did a, an incredible 
video of it. I don't, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but anyway, Doug, uh, about six months ago, Doug said, I'd like to enter this into a contest, and so I said, sure, go ahead. So uh, a couple days ago, we were informed that we won an uh, international award in a musical uh, video uh, called the Global uh, Music uh, something or other. <laughs> there. Yeah. Huh? Is there a funny part of the story? You're standing out in a field, and they're like 100 yards away or something like that. Oh, that's oh, – Sky's referring to when we, when we made – it's the first time I'd uh, really ever done a, a music video. And uh, we did it on a very cold well, – my, my parts – we did it on a very cold day in January. And it was um, – uh, the wind was blowing, and we were, we were out um, in, in the country, uh, and uh, – and Bobby Lee, who uh, was doing the video, he said, I want to do uh, something with drone footage. So he put this drone up in the air. And uh, he said, I want you to stand out in that, that uh, field out there. And, and of course, you have to do multiple takes, you know. And so I'm lip syncing to this video. Uh, and it's about, uh, it, with the chill, the chill factor is probably about zero. You know? and, uh, and, um, and, and where is Bobby? He's in his car directing the zone and he says he said can you do this one more time and I said Bobby I will do it one more time but after that this is the last one because I can't feel my face anymore so that's that's that's, that's, that's the thing about doing the videos that you don't you don't know it's a little inside thing behind the scenes with Ron Sewell <laughs> the mission of unity of Kanawha Valley is to provide you with a welcoming community of love acceptance and spiritual growth we celebrate our unity in being alive together and we affirm our diversity that each one of us is on our own journey of spiritual growth it's my personal goal that you feel welcome while you're here with us today and that you feel free to be yourself and feel free to explore some ideas that might be useful in your life and if they're not useful just let them go Today, we'll be exploring the idea of the song, I am free, I am unlimited. If you want to know more about unity, check us out online. Prayer is a central part of what we're about here today, so let's do that right now. Would you soften your gaze, close your eyes if it feels safe for you. Take a breath. Maybe let a smile come to your face and notice how that affects how you feel right now. And would you say silently to yourself, I am free. I am unlimited. And would you imagine that you are standing or sitting in front of someone you love? There is no separation related to geography, time, space, life, or death, but you are in the presence of this person who you love and who has loved you. Look at them in the eye and hear them say to you, you are free, you are unlimited. And if you would, give yourself a nice big stretch and a nice big yawn. Wake up everything. And would you turn to someone next to you, put your hand wherever it's okay with them to put your hand and say to them, thank you for being with me on this journey. You are free. You are unlimited. I want to thank each of you for being with us here today. You are being here with us today as part of the world that we are creating together. Every small thing you do today makes a difference in your life and in someone else's life. I want to thank the universe, God, the source of all life and love for another day on this amazing journey. I want to thank everyone who's made this service possible for Stephen and our board of directors, Barbie, Jamie, Rich, Peggy, Laura, and Kathy, for Pam, our 
amazing church administrator, for Ron and Jeff, our masks today, Marauders of Music, award-winning Marauders of Music, for Peggy, our worship leader today, for Rich and Danny, our Zoom Meisters, for our prayer chaplains, Sharon, Janet, Marianne, Laura, and Alexa, for our daily word reader. He said as he, Eleanor is raising her hand. Do you want to read the daily word today? You want your dad to read the daily <laughs> Stephen's turn today. OK, you're free. You're unlimited. That's great. Stephen, your turn. Thank you for reading the daily word. And our junior bell, bell ringers today, Tegan and Eleanor, thank you guys for ringing our bell. I want you to know that I continue to lift up every member, visitor, and friend. And I'm so grateful for the chance to walk with you on our journey together. I want to remind you that God is our source. The pen is in your hand. And a new day is dawning for us all. Well, let's go into a more extended period of appreciating this present moment. So you might notice the sounds in the room. The shuffling and adjusting, getting more comfortable. The sound of the air movers. You might notice the freedom you have when you take a breath. You get to decide when you're ready for that inhale. You get to decide when you're ready to exhale and let go. Tending to the needs of the body. You might notice places of tension or tightness, places where you feel more relaxed. notice the points of contact between your body and other physical objects, the floor, the pew, the bench, the seat. We are free in our awareness. We are free in where we focus our attention. It's as if we're holding a flashlight. We can shine our attention on any part of our experience right now. You might notice a sense of ease, a sense of calm, a sense of peace. Jesus said, seek ye the kingdom. The kingdom is within. It is among you, it is in your midst, it is here and now, and it is within.
And so we take the words of this Jewish mystic and we wonder if this might be true for us today. We explore this teaching within our hearts and within ourselves. What is this kingdom? What is it to be connected to it? What is it to go deeper within this connection to our source, this expansive realm within us? We know the qualities of this spaciousness within us. The sense of abundance and sufficiency. The sense that we are and we have everything we need for this moment. the sense of the wisdom and intelligence of the body, the ability of the body to heal itself, the ability of the mind to seek healing on all levels, physical, emotional, relational. We trust our bodies to do what it needs to do. This is a place of love, a place of connection a place where we do not know a stranger, where we recognize everyone as a neighbor and a friend. A place of healing, forgiveness, repair, apology, reconciliation. And this is a place of guidance, a place where the still small voice speaks. And we, in this place, listen. And it's from this space within us that we reach out to anyone, anywhere in any need or trouble. those living in fear, those living in pain, those who are anxious about the future, or unable to let go of the past. those struggling with anger, with addiction, with memory, those struggling with breathing. We know that God's presence and God's love is spread out everywhere throughout this universe, spread out equally without exception Access to the experience of God's love is possible at every moment, at every time, in every place, regardless of the situation. And for this, we are grateful.
The daily word for today, Sunday, September 19th, 2021, is free. Living from my divine nature frees me. Sometimes I feel limited when I don't think I have enough time, money, space, education, or experience. These thoughts can occupy so much space in my mind that I begin to think limitation is the truth of life. The greater truth is that I am free and unlimited in spirit. Alive in God, I am free to express all the love, wisdom, and strength of the divine as only I can. What joy and liberation it is to know that nothing can separate me from my true spiritual nature. If I believe any circumstance in my life or any of my past actions obstruct or delay my spiritual progress, I can now release that belief. Embracing and living from the divine presence, the Christ within me, I claim freedom from all limitation. And today's scripture from the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 28. In him we live and move and have our being. Check one, two. It's a good thing we got this one working, huh? Uh, the, the, the holder doesn't work on this. <laughs> uh, you want to you you be my... my Check one. Like I said, if uh, this gets too smooth for you, we'll just uh, we'll try to we'll try to be more spontaneous. Um, when I thought about uh, Sky's lesson today, but um, uh, we are free, we are unlimited. You know, a lot of us think, well, we're not free. Uh, you know, it's stuff just happens to you. But you know, um, oh, that's another subject. But. Um, I think that uh, what we all have the freedom to do is to uh, respond, the way we, we respond, the way we think about things. Um, we have, and that's where I, I think our uh, freedom lies, and that's what this song is about. It's called, It's All Up To You. This is written by uh, my friend John Wickstrom and myself. <laughs> Now you can be old if you want to Sitting in your rocking chair so Complain about the food Complain about the weather Complain nobody cares You can be grumpy and lonely You can go on and on Yelling at the neighbors Yelling at the kids Hey you! Get off of my lawn. Well, you can be sad and blue if that's what you choose. But you can be old if you want to. It's all up to you. Now, you can be young if you choose to. 
Wake up with a smile on your face. Laugh away your troubles, laugh away your struggles, laugh away your pains and aches. You can be light and happy. Remember it's all in your mind. If you are what you think, then I think you should make your thoughts loving and kind. You can be fresh and new if that's what you choose. You can be young if you want to. It's all up to you. Now I'm not saying that anybody gets out of here alive. No, I'm just saying you get to choose to live or just survive. If you want to, just see that you already are. Be glad for what you have, glad for who you love, glad that you've come this far. Or you can put your nose to the grindstone till you grind it off of your face. But then how you gonna smell the flowers that you find on your path along the way? The best things in life are free. Just open your eyes and see that you can be rich if you want to. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm still Sky. My name is Zoe. Zoe. My name's Paisley. Kingsley or Kingsley? Paisley. Oh, Paisley. Paisley? Fantastic. Oh, my cousin changed her name. Oh, your cousin changed her name. Fantastic. Nice. Eleanor, great to see everybody. Is this on? No, it's still not on. No. No. You just noticed. Let's try it again. So uh, let's get everybody's name. Zoe. Zoe. And. Tegan. Oh, you changed your name ah, back again. <laughs> I forgot. She's Paisley a minute ago. Now she's Tegan. I'm still Paisley. And Eleanor. Eleanor, yeah. What did you think about that song? That was a good song, wasn't it? Yeah, very happy, very up. Let's uh, take a look at this guy. Who do we have up here in the picture frame? Jesus, how's he looking today? Happy. Happy. And he's always, yeah, he's, uh, he's a, a picture. It keeps him that way. It keeps him that way. Yeah, he's pretty happy there. It just, like, keeps, it, it, it doesn't change. It yeah, it doesn't change. Is that how that works? Yeah. Oh. It never changes. You know, I keep wondering, what's he laughing about? And why doesn't he ever, why doesn't he ever feel any other way? But, uh, yeah, that's your Because it's a picture. It's a picture. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. That's great. And uh, 
I thought this was the Buddha, but this is, this is a, on, the, on the, uh, the green guy there. Uh, that's a woman, actually. It's it, the... It's, it's a Russian woman? Oh, so where, oh, that's great. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. Could be a Russian woman. Uh, I think it's the... Uh, it, it looks like Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. It looks like Oscar the Grouch. Does, does he look grouchy to you? No. No, no. not the grouchy. He looks but peaceful. the green looks like it. Oh, the green. Right, right, right. Yeah, the green looks, uh, looks like Oscar the Grouch. And Eleanor uh, looks peaceful. It's actually a she. So it's the queen of kindness. Is that, can I get a, some, somebody tell me? Lord. Princess of kindness, thank you. It's the Yay, Buddhist princess of kindness and uh, kindness is the thing. Probably the most important thing in the world is to be happy and to be kind. And so we have her there to remind us of the importance of kindness. So in any situation, you are free to be kind or you could be free to do something else. The Dalai Lama once said, uh, kindness is the, uh, the right choice to pick. Kindness is the right choice to pick. Thank you, Zoe. Excellent memory. Yeah, you always have a choice to be kind, and uh, so that's part of what we remember today. All right, let's. Uh, now we're going. Now it works. No, okay. Here, hold that. Thank you very that much. Very All right, let's uh, let's do our little close our eyes. Little sound effect. And we take a, a nice deep breath, and we feel that peace within. Mother, Father, God, we give thanks for these kids and for the kid in each and every one of us. Amen. Let's hear it for these kids. Let's hear it for our parents, grandparents, great-grandparents. Thank you for coming in. You guys want to stay here for the rest of the thing? You can? Mm -hmm. Hmm? That, that's it, we're done? You want more, right? <laughs> Thursday at 5.30, we'll do more. Does anybody want to have anything that they want to say? Or? Okay. It was great to see you guys. I'm going to stand up now, but you guys can stay there if you want, or you can. Uh, you're going to go get a snack. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Peggy. <laughs> well, the uh, the Sunday school teacher, um, who sent this to me? I love it when people send me jokes because then when you groan, I can say, hey, wasn't my joke? No. Uh, was it you, Laura, that sent me this one? The Sunday school teacher asked the kids to draw a picture of their favorite, favorite Bible story. Tommy turned in the picture of an airplane with four people in it. The teacher asked Tommy to explain. He said, this is Mary, Joseph, and Jesus on their flight to Egypt. <laughs> The Sunday school teacher said, who's this fourth person? And Tommy said, that's Pontius, the pilot. <laughs> Put your hand on your heart, please, and repeat after me. This is my heart. Through it, I am connected to my neighbor, to my source, and to myself. I am learning to trust it in all things. And I am grateful. Well, I love this, uh, this, the song and the idea of I am free, the daily word today, the idea of freedom. And uh, let's begin with the objections to this sentence. So I've had you say it in the silent meditation, I am free, I am unlimited. And one of the things I love about doing these affirmations is just sort of what, what, what in the Catholic tradition would be called contemplation. That's when you take an idea and you think about it and you let whatever thoughts about this sentence come. And I'm just kind of curious, does, did anybody notice any objections to the thoughts 
I am unlimited, I am, I am free, I am unlimited. Was there any part of you that was saying, well, that can't be right. Barbie, you wanna give voice to? I, I think I have to move into a place of unlimited because my first thing is, no, I'm not. And then how might I be? Yeah, right. So, and just like in the process of the daily word, so, it, so in today's daily word, the very first, uh, first paragraph, so I, I feel uh, I am free, I'm in living, and then it says, sometimes I feel limited. Right, there's the objection. I mean, my knee's hurting, right? <laughs> that feels like a limitation. Sometimes I feel limited when I don't think I have enough time, money, space, education, or experience. These thoughts can occupy so much of my mind that I begin to think limitation is the truth of life. I love that line. You can keep your nose to the grindstone, but you're gonna grind your nose right off, and then you won't be able to smell the flowers. That was. <laughs> What a great thought. So we all kind of get that, that, that we are living this physical body experience. Uh, sometimes we say we're spiritual beings who are having a physical experience on this earth. And certainly the physical experience on the earth has certain limitations uh, built into it. Stuff happens to us. Uh, that we didn't ask for and that we didn't want, and that's part of the deal. Uh, that's part of what it is to be, have this ex earthly experience. And at the same time, you know, like most beautiful truths, most spiritual truths, they are paradoxical. Uh, Jesus says, the first will be last and the last will be first. Jesus said, in order to gain your life, you have to lose your life. And here's this other paradoxical idea that you are free, I am free, I am unlimited. I'm remembering a Pete Seeger song, uh, well, he, he made it popular in the United States, the German song, folk song, Sie Gedanken sind frei, the thoughts are free. Your thoughts, you are free in your thoughts. You're free in your dreams. You're really free in your dreams, right? You can do anything in your dreams. And isn't that an interesting part of the human experience that we have these imaginations that can just be unlimited by time, by space, by uh, any limitation that you could think of. And our dreams, we are able to do and be and explore these worlds. Uh, I'll call it an imaginary world, but I don't, I don't know what these worlds are that we're exploring in our dreams. But if nothing else, we are free in our dreams. We are free in our thinking. Sie Gedanken sind frei was a, uh, a protest song. You know, the government was, imposing limitations at, at one point. And they said, well, yeah, you can, you can limit my body, but you can't limit my thinking. My thinking will always be free. And in the privacy of my thoughts, I can think whatever I want. We celebrate that here at Unity. You don't just have to have your thoughts privately. You can have your thoughts out there, and we're happy for them. Uh, as I've said many times, I don't think God really cares what you believe, uh, God is love, and love works on you whether you believe in love or not. It's, uh, it's just a fact of God's being, God's nature. God is love itself. Love loves. No, uh, no restrictions based on what you choose to believe or not. So we try to emulate that here as well. <clears throat> I love, I mean, you, you, your song was, was basically the outline of the talk today. So uh, uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about this as I was driving over, this, this idea that you're free to interpret the events of the world and your events, the events that happen to you, the, the things that happen in relationship to you. You are free to interpret that however you want. And that's a pretty big thing. And that 
is a pretty big determinant of how this day is going to go for you, how you interpret the events that happen to you. I was driving over here, and uh, I got behind uh, a red, uh, it wasn't an MGB, it was like a, a, an Austin Martin. It, it was all like a bright, bright fire engine, red convertible, like a classic, classic car, very old car. And I'm driving behind this guy, and he's got the top down, and he's, uh, he's like enjoying a beautiful uh, morning, the beautiful weather. And we come to a stop sign, and he puts out his hand because there are no turn signal indicators. And so he's got his hand out, and so he turns left. And we come up to the next sign, and he does this. And I'm driving behind him. And I thought he was doing this <laughs> at first. And then I realized, no, he's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, what a great example. Thank you, God. That was a, that was a perfect example. You know, if, if, if I was behind that guy and I didn't know that in the old days that's how you signaled that you were going to make a right turn, right, that you put your left hand up like that with your finger, and it's like, that, that could have changed my, that could have altered my day, right? Depending on how I interpret that hand and that finger, going up, I might feel annoyed or go up and ram him or something, or, or, or just smile at the lesson that don't we get to interpret how we are? Vaughn, you've got your hand up. You're not giving me the finger. That's good. So what do you want to add to this? <laughs> <laughs> Last week, uh, Vaughn told us a story about driving behind a, a Grateful Dead hurts or something. That, yes, yeah, that was a great story, yeah. So here it is again, another, uh, another sign uh, from God. And uh, I love that idea that um, you are free to interpret the events of the world however you want. And here at Unity, we are certainly celebrating and endorsing the idea that no one is against you that on a spiritual level, on the same level that you are free and unlimited, no one is against you because no one can be against you, right? Yeah, people can be against you on the physical level, but on the spiritual level, being that we are all one, no one can be against you because we are all one. And there's nothing to worry about because it's all love. I love, I, this is one of my favorite, absolute favorite scripture verses. In God, we live and move and have our being. We are walking in a sea of God, or we're swimming in a sea of God. We live and move and have our being. That cannot be taken away. The, the, nothing can change that. No circumstance can change that fact. Nothing that happens to you, nothing that has happened to you can change that fact. Nothing that's been done to you can change that fact. I think for me, well, there's another way that I am free and I am unlimited and I didn't realize the beauty of this way of thinking till I came to unity. And that is the meaning of this phrase, I am. And if you got the email from me, you might have noticed that I capitalized the letters I, and I capitalized the letters I am. So A-M, so I am all capitalized. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? What what is the meaning of I am? Somebody can tell me, I'm sure. The name for the divine. I am is the name that the burning bush tells Moses when Moses says, who are you? And out of the burning bush, or however that worked, uh, this voice comes, uh, Yahweh, I am that I am or we might say the, the I am, that God is the I am. And so 
I, it blew my mind when, when I was in a Unity class and they were talking about the meaning and the power of saying, I am. I am love, I am free, I am unlimited. Because we're evoking, we're invoking the name of God when we do that. And this little trick that I learned in this unity class that, that I just thought was so amazing is to say, when you see the words I am, you could also, you could expand that out and say the I am within me and then whatever. So the I am within me is free. Now I can step into that more fully, right? The I am within me. Because when I think about I am free, it's like, well, I know Sky Kirshner is, I'm not, a, I'm, I got a lots of limitations, believe me, I'm super aware of them. I'm probably more aware of them than I ought to be, than is good for me. But when I say to myself, the I am within me is unlimited, oh, okay. That's what that means. The spirit of God within me, the I am within me is unlimited. The I am within me is free. How does that land with you? Can I get a head nod if that lands with you well? So maybe when we do this, and let, let's just try this, uh, and then I'll close. Uh, just simply saying to yourself, the I am within me is free. The I am within me is unlimited. The spirit of God within me is free. The spirit of God within me is unlimited. And since I am a wave on the ocean of this spirit that is God, I share in that quality of freedom and unlimited, unlimitedlessness. The I am within me is free. The I am within me is unlimited. Thank you so much for letting me bring this little thought to your minds today and to your, to your days. I'll do part two next week. Uh, which will describe how Maria Celeste used the power of her freedom and unlimitedness to get us to buy her a puppy. <laughs> so join us again next week. And uh, I'm going to try something different with the video, if it's OK, during this song. So we'll see how it works. But let me turn it over to Peggy, who is surprised that I am ending so quickly. Would someone else be willing to be? Are you standing to be the hostess? Are you standing to get Peggy? I'm standing to do the offer. All right, fantastic. Let me disrobe here. Free and unlimited with a cordless mic. We all stand for the offering blessing, and will the ushers please come forward? Our faithful ushers. Barbie and Stephen, always ready to serve. And will you repeat with me the offering blessing? Divine love, moving in and through me, blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. I give in love, I trust God, and I am grateful. Take it away. Just a spoke in the wheel of one grain of sand, and it feels so good to be right where I am. One little part of a much bigger plan, and the longer I'm here, 
the more I understand I am one we are one like the rays of the sun Just one drop of rain that falls from the sky, that runs to the stream, to the ocean by and by. And I could do worse than to give myself up on the crest of a wave in this ocean of love. Sing it with me. I am one. We are one. Like the rays of the sun. When it's all said and done. Mother, Father, God, we thank you for the I am within us. We thank you for the paradox that in giving we receive. We thank you for being together, being one, being together, joined in love, enjoying music, enjoying each other, and so very grateful and blessed. And so it is. Amen. Okay, so now it's time for our unity circle and our closing prayer. And somebody told me to sing happy birthday to, I don't remember. <laughs> So, we'll sing happy birthday to whoever told me to sing happy birthday. <laughs>